Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. For today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Smash Changes Optimus Prime or as it's officially known as the Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Optimus Prime. But come on guys this is a Rise of the Beast figure and I have been just so excited to actually get my hands on this and I know there may be some of you wondering why am I excited for a gimmick based toy? Well this is actually my first time covering a live action movie here over on YouTube and I'm just so excited to see all of the gimmick toys, all of the official mainline stuff that we'll undoubtedly see for Studio Series, and just some brand new live action movie content. So with all that being said, let's jump straight here into the video. Here we have the box art. Now, considering this is Cyberverse Adventures, we don't get any indication of Prime CGI design or a Rise of the Beast logo anywhere. So we basically do just get an animated Prime here at the front, some Dinobots along the side, as well as some pretty sweet product shots of the Rise of the Beast Optimus in both robot mode and kind of his Beast Hunter esque looking truck mode so with all that being said let's get this out of the way and actually take a look at one of the first Transformers Rise of the Beast figures that has been released so far and here we have the Smash Changes Optimus Prime fully transformed up into his truck mode now the figure does come packaged in robot mode but I hope to show off the gimmick so many times over on the channel that you guys will really be able to gather a gist of how this thing transforms back and forth and I have to say that the truck mode is probably the most mysterious thing about the upcoming Rise of the Beast movie so far in my opinion as all of the toys shown so far look nothing like the flat nose truck that was actually seen on the set of the Rise of the Beast film. I mean Optimus has so far been depicted as looking like his classic G1 self whereas this toy definitely does give me Beast Hunters vibes and considering we're dealing with Maximals and Predacons I am thinking that maybe Optimus may rescan sometime later on in the movie to a vehicle mode which does resemble this to perhaps track down some of the Predacons I guess we'll just have to wait and see but I really Really cool looking truck as you guys can see for a gimmick based toy painted and sculpted so nicely this really does look super robust we also do get some live action movie Autobot logos which again lead me to believe that this is in fact a rise of the beast figure and sculpted really nicely especially here towards the back let's hope Prime does actually jam pack some Predacons in there once we get round to the movie we do get a faux tire here at the top and sadly only four out of the eight wheels actually roll those being the front two and the back two Initially, I thought this one would as well, considering the way it's been kind of mushroom pegged into place. But no, it is super glued, which does look kind of ugly. I do wish that maybe they could have gone something similar along the lines of this as far as the sculpt goes. But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool looking truck. We'll get into some comparisons later on. For now, let's actually get into the gimmick. So to kickstart things off, this thing basically transforms in three steps. Two button pushes, and then you smash him and he transforms into the robot. So it is this button here. First of all, you are just going to want to push it once and it will cause these wheels here to flip up and to flip to the back. Pushing it a second time should hopefully cause the arms to pop out. Well one arm popped out, there goes the second arm and then what you're to do for the final step is grab him here at the back and smash him down. And that will transform Optimus back into robot mode. Now we're going to go over the details and everything in just a second. But I just want to showcase the transformation back. So to kickstart things off, you're going to want to angle this section here out. Hinge the legs down. And this will actually snap into place. What we can then do is take the head, snap this here down. Angle this section out. And then just collapse the shoulders and the elbows into place and once you get one arm locked in it just makes this thing so secure next up the other side so rinse and repeat just clip all that into place take these wheels here flip them down and just snap them there like so and do the same for the other side. So a little more intricate to transform him back into truck mode when in comparison to robot mode. And let's transform him back into bot mode. So again, push this button and it will cause those things to flip out. And hopefully both of the arms will pop out this time. Yes, so far so good. And then next up, take him here at the back, smash him down. And there we have Optimus Prime in robot mode. Just straighten out the elbow joints and a very nicely detailed figure. So as we just take a closer look here at the head sculpt, surprisingly, this actually looks way more accurate to how he appeared in the Bumblebee movie when in comparison to the official Studio Series version, which I think just leads me to believe again that these gimmick-based toys are going to be some of the best that we have ever seen for the live-action movies, as this thing, despite being gimmick-orientated, is really nicely detailed and painted. I think the face sculpt looks fantastic, especially here from a side perspective. We get loads of intricate sculpt work 
look around the neck which looks awesome as we actually take a look here at the chest so nicely detailed and painted that looks fantastic very nicely designed arms again very reminiscent to that bumblebee movie design a design which we now know will actually be what prime obtains in the rise of the beast film and as we just come down here to the legs nice gun metal gray really decent sculpt work here for the lower section just in all fantastic now he does become slightly ugly as we come around to the back basically he is just a brick so that's a shame and in terms of articulation i was very surprised to see that he does indeed actually have a rotation here at the head and there's no reason for him to have this so that was a really sweet touch and the elbows mainly due to transformation do hinge up and down but that's it no articulation out of the hips nor out of the shoulders so he is restricted and it is a shame that this guy doesn't come with any form of weaponry it would have been so cool had they actually given him his classic g1 ion blaster but as it stands still a very nice display piece and for those who are into optimus prime and especially the live action movies for this being our first entry into the toy line i do think this one's going to be a must have now it does retail for i want to say about 35 dollars which considering it doesn't have any electronics and it is quite small i'll be sure to bring out some comparisons in just a second maybe it should have retailed for around 20 to 25 max i mean i think they actually put this thing forward for being toy of the year and it's only just come out so i'm not too sure how they were working that one out but even here for the sides these are actually gap fillers which eject during transformation so nicely sculpted definitely a lot of thought and care has been packed into this guy so again let's transform him back into truck mode flip out those elbows take this section here dip it down snap the rear of the truck into place snap the head there open up this panel snap all of this into place come around to this side and rinse and repeat take the wheels flip these here around until they click in and do the same here for this side and there we have prime back in his truck mode now here for a comparison we have our rise of the beast smash changes optimus compared alongside the earthrise leader or should i say voyager i mean it's a voyager scaled figure at the leader price point and as you guys can see i mean in truck mode this rise of the beast optimus is actually pretty big i imagine had this been a mainline release it would probably categorize under leader at least in terms of vehicle mode and still very nicely painted and sculpted as i mentioned beforehand the the front two wheels and the back two sets also do roll and they do roll very smoothly so you can have this guy chasing down scourge the terracons and the predacons and let's get him back for some of those robot mode comparisons so i'm going to transform him because it's just so fun hit this button again and it will cause these sections to flip out push it once more and the arms will pop out and then take prime smash him down and here we have him back into robot mode and talking of here's some comparisons so we have the smash changer prime and the studio series premium finish optimus prime based on bumblebee and as you guys can see incredibly similar designs to the torso the arms the head the legs etc it is the rise of the beast optimus design but as you guys can see it's definitely a very big piece and again for a gimmick inspired toy super nicely detailed as well as painted but i do wish that he just could have come with some form of weaponry as i think that would have made him looks so cool and wrapping up on this review for the transformers rise of the beasts smash changes optimus prime or cyberverse adventures i think this is a really cool figure especially for a gimmick orientated release that's what you have to bear in mind this figure has been specifically designed for younger collectors in mind and even for me someone who is a little more older than that i think this is really enjoyable i mean the smash capability especially going from truck into bot mode is so fun and it is just so addictive i've been messing around with this guy for ages and it's probably the most fun i've had with a gimmick orientated live action movie figure for a very long time i mean this thing's very basic in terms of its overall design but the transformation has just been thought out so well i will say that it is a little more intricate to get him back from robot into truck mode and it probably will take a few attempts to really get the hang of it but once you nail that oh my god you're gonna have so much fun with this thing i think the paint and the detail in both truck and robot mode for the most part look really cool especially considering that this is a gimmick based toy articulation very compromised due to it being a gimmick inspired release but in terms of a display piece, I mean, until we eventually get some of those Studio Series figures, I think this is going to be cool. And like I said, if you're a live action movie fan like myself, this being one of our first Rise of the Beast figures, I would definitely check it out. But as mentioned previously, he does retail for
for around $35, and I do think that's a little steep. Had this thing been 20 to 25, I would be able to recommend it instantly, but considering there's no electronics and no accessories, perhaps wait for it to go on clearance if you're not super eager to actually get your hands on some new live action movie figures. But I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about Prime's new alt mode? Do you think this is actually a vehicle that we shall see in the upcoming Rise of the Beast movie, or do you think it's purely just for the toys? And what do you guys think in terms of the toy in general? Be sure to sound off down in the comment section below, and until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.